वो एक सौ मस्जिद में हुआ तो अच्छा है जी After the uh, du'a, uh, we've received uh, multiple questions on Qunut uh, Nazila. So just a brief uh, background of what it is and uh, how we should uh, perform Qunut Nazila and when it should be performed. The background is, is from the Hadith of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When one of the tribes had uh, asked Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to send him some uh, people who knew Quran and so Rasulullah had sent them however they uh, did treachery and they cheated and they actually murdered them and they were about 40 Ashab al-Kiram who were murdered by this treachery of those, uh, of those tribesmen this severely uh, disheartened Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and have, he felt the sorrow very deeply and he was uh, hurt very much and so he decided and he and he performed the Qunut Nazila at that time so this is the uh, the, uh, tra the Sunnah tradition evidence uh, behind Qunut Nazila so it is done during times of calamities of problems uh, like the one that we are going through in our beloved nation of Palestine and at Bayt al Maqdis by Masjid al Aqsa. So, this would be a good reason to perform Qulut Nazila. Uh, in the Hanafi fiqh, uh, so that we are clear, uh, the way it is, it is done is that it is done only during the Fajr prayer. Only during the Fajr prayer. And how it's done is at the second raka'ah, after you uh, come back from Ruku in the Qawma position, the standing position, uh, before going for sajda, you would recite this dua that you've heard earlier, uh, earlier in the dua that we performed for first two. Is Allah mahdina fi man hadayt wa aafina fi man aafayt wa tawallana fi man tawallit wa barik lana fi ma aqad ila aakhri. So you recite this whole dua. Now these are mustahab duas. You may or may, recite, may not recite this particular one. You may recite something else. But this is what we have that is sabit uh, from uh, the salaf. And so you recite this if you can, if you have memorized them. And if you're not able to memorize them, then recite or say, make the dua for whatever it is that the issue that you are uh, making the dua for, the Qunut Nazila. And you do that while standing. And for the Hanafi, you will not raise your hands when you make the dua. You'll have your hands uh, fall. You may perform this Qunut Nazila in the Fajr prayer, either in Jama'ah or individual prayers as well. When you are in Jama'ah, if the Imam is Hanafi, the Imam will not raise hands, you will follow. But if an Imam is Shafi'i of any other mazhab, they are uh, they raise their hands in Dua. But if you are following them, you do not need to raise your hands. You will have your hands uh, on the sides of your legs. And you will also say Ali very lightly in your breath. You would not say loudly. And so this way, and if you're praying it individually, you would just, uh, Quietly make the dua and also quietly say Amin in the end, and you will continue with the sajda and finish your two rakat of Satul Fajr, and that's how the Qulub Nazla is completed. And so I make the niyyah and I ask my brothers and sisters who are here and uh, listening to me to make the niyyah as well, for this is the most appropriate time that we make the niyyah of this beautiful Sunnah of Sayyidina Rasulullah when we are afflicted by calamities and, and issues like as, uh, like wars that, that we are right now that we perform the Qulut Nazila uh, every day for 40 days and make dua and supplication uh, uh, in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may raise the afflictions and give us uh, the izzah, the karama uh, that we Allah would like us to have. Barakallahu feekum. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you so much.